Hello guys and welcome to your 38th Java tutorial in which we're going to be going over overloaded methods. Now to actually demonstrate this, uh, we're just going to go over to our source folder, go right click it, go to new and then class. And we are going to create a mysterious new class known as helper class. Yes, not very original, but nonetheless it serves its purpose. Alright, so our public class helper class. What is this helper class going to do? Well, it's actually going to have two methods. One method to add two numbers and the other method to add two strings. That's all we're going to do for now. Just uh, yeah, keep watching, keep following. Alright, both of these methods are going to be stat public static voids. Add, yes, one is going to be add. It's going to have uh, the arguments of int a and int b and remember guys uh, it's you should you should know this it's uh, static meaning that we can use this this method uh, without even creating an instance of helper class that's really the only purpose that serves and uh, the sum of ints a and b will simply be a plus b and we're going to output that sum on the screen in a nice formatted message the sum of the numbers is uh, plus sum. Now we are also going to have another public static void. Uh, add with the same method name except it's going to add two strings now. It's going to be a string A and a string B. All it's going to do is it's going to create a string sum once again except it's adding a a different data type and it's going to set that um, we're going to set that equal to A plus B and we're also going to output uh, in a neat formatted way, the sum of the yeah let's just spell it that way. The sum of the two strings is with a colon plus uh, sum. There we go. So you guys are probably wondering how do we actually uh, use these methods or how do how does Java differentiate these methods because they have the same method names. This is add and this is add and you know they're practically identical. Well, this is where overloaded methods come in, or the overloaded, uh, the overloaded feature in Java, which pretty much allows two methods to be differentiated by their arguments. So Java tells these apart by their arguments. So say if we pass into, uh, if we call the helper, helper class dot add method and we call it with two integer arguments, it's automatically going to select this method to use. If we call it with two uh, string arguments, it's automatically going to select uh, this. Uh, method right here so that that's really all there is to overloaded methods and uh, I, I think you guys already know what overloaded constructors are or multiple constructors which is a, from a tutorial a long time ago uh, so uh, yeah it's pretty, where you pretty much can have multiple constructors for a method and you can have different you know different things for them you can have help help all right I'm, I'm just gonna give a quick example right now public uh, help helper class and we can have uh, we can have something go down there and then we can have another one helper class you know and we can have two arguments for it say you know like int a int b all right i th i think i've 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 just made my point i've i made made my point pretty relatively clear i think you guys do know what that is if you don't however just uh, go up to one of the previous tutorials and review that. So basically the same concept is just carried to methods right here. Alright, let's go ahead and test this program out. Let's go to our main class and uh, let's use those static methods. Let's go to helper class dot add and let's say we want to add th two numbers, three and four. Uh, so uh, clearly these are integers so uh, the what the J JVM does, the Java compiler, pretty much it goes to the helper class that says well these two arguments are integers. Well what other add method has uh, to arguments as integers. Well, it's this one, so I should probably do whatever it tells me here, what to, to do here. And in fact, if we run this uh, program, we will get the sum of the numbers is seven. However, if we ran this program with two string arguments, I, I am a dog like so. Uh, once again, Java goes to the helper class and it looks for the add method with two strings as arguments. Uh, and that method would be this uh, current method here. So it will run the code in uh, between the curly braces, yes. That's all it would do and in fact let's just go ahead and try it out. And yes, the usum of the two strings is I am a dog. There we go. That's exactly what we expected to see, yes. And we can actually have more than just two overloaded methods. We can have as many as you want. We can have, you know, I don't know, uh, public static void add for you know two doubles and spelled correctly and yes 
it could it could pretty much just go on and on and on uh and it's extremely useful in java you definitely will be seeing these a lot uh and you, and as because they're very practical in programming uh and yes i hope you guys learn something new in this tutorial uh something that's hopefully similar to the uh multiple constructors tutorial from quite a while ago or overloaded constructors and uh yes thank you very much for watching this quite brief tutorial uh please like the video if you found the content useful and peace